Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Shishwendu Mitro, a research scholar of Indian Institute of Technology, Guwahati. In this video, I will try to explain H index, that is an index to grade a researcher. So, uh, where we basically find this H index? So, I go to uh, this is a research gate profile. Suppose I search a researcher. Say Deepankar Bandhavata. My guide, that is why I have chosen. Okay. So, this is the page of a researcher called Deepankar, Dr. Deepankar Bandhavata. So, here, if you click here, RG score. Yeah, you will get an index which is called H index here. So, there are two H indexes basically, one is showing 14 that is including self citation and excluding self citation. This is showing 12. So, what is including self citation and excluding self citation that will uh, that I will come to uh, come later. But the thing is, let us calculate what H index basically is. So, as I told earlier, this is an index to quantify or to grade a researcher. Uh, suppose, uh, you, you know, the researchers uh, who are Nobel laureates, so everybody knows he is a great researcher. But the thing is, uh, the uh, how can you compare the strength, the capability of a researcher? and uh, what he has done in his life so for that uh, the, this is an index to read a researcher so here i'll try to explain this is an index basically given by j e h a researcher of the from department of physics university of california that paper was published in the year 2005 where he proposed an index and he termed it as H index and uh, from from the paper itself you can see just yeah this line I propose the index H defined as the number of papers with citations num citation number greater than or equal to H as a useful index to characterize the scientific output of a researcher so what does it mean basically we will explain later but uh, before doing that i'll try to explain few advantages and disadvantages while quantify a researcher for in making index for a researcher suppose i want to quantify a researcher by number of papers he or she has published in his life but the thing is making a more number of papers always do not signify a good research suppose yeah, a person has published several number of papers, but the impact of these papers are not as good as a, as a, another researcher who has published less number of papers having good impact. So, if I want to uh, want to justify a researcher by only total number of papers, for this reason, the disadvantage is that it does not measure importance or impact of papers. Now, if I want to quantify or judge a researcher by number of citations then the disadvantage in this is that hard to find and may be inflated by a small number of big hits so what does it mean suppose uh, somebody has just started a research and somehow he has published two papers uh, in good journals so from there if you want to just calculate if you just calculate number of citations then the citations is very good because the mm, few number of papers he has published, but those oh, those went to a good went in good journals. That is why impact is higher. So uh, it is not only the number of papers or number of citations. One should include both number of papers and number of citation at a time, and mm, then and thereby. Uh, some, there should be some way to optimize it in order to get a single index and that is called H index and uh, we can do it graphically I will explain 
in an excel sheet later on but uh, what is that uh, if i plot number of citation versus paper number after arranging the paper with descending order of citations and then cut a line or draw a line 45 with a 45 degree angle with the horizontal or vertical whatever axis then it cuts up it cuts the curve at a point and that point will signify the h index of the research okay i'll explain it elaborately i have taken three researchers so mr a mr b and mr c and they have published uh, papers uh, i have taken three years 2013 2014 and 2015 so mr a has published two papers in 2013 three papers in 2014 and two papers in 2015 so total number of papers he published in this three years are seven and uh, uh, likewise mr v has published nine papers during this three years and mr c has published six papers now if i compare if i uh, if i explain clearly suppose this is the mr mr a he has published the two papers in the year 2013 and say first paper has got 12 citations second paper has got 10 citation and in the year 2014 he has published one two three papers in this three papers uh, third paper uh, got nine citations fourth paper seven citation fifth also seven citation and so on so likewise in his uh, total seven papers he got 56 citations as a whole likewise mr v got 47 47 citations as a whole and mr c 55 so here i just summarize it mr a mr b and mr b so total number of this is the total number of papers and this is the total number of citations so uh, when uh, when we talk about number of citations then we can see mr a has got more more the, the most citations that is 56 and mr b published uh, published higher number of paper that is uh, nine nine papers now uh, how to uh, how to calculate the h index suppose i'm calculating it for mr a so for that i need another line that is uh, that is 45 degree with the horizontal axis that is y equal to x so this that's so why i'll take another set of data so this data will signify y equal to x yeah now you can see uh, one thing i told this this numbers are not arranged in descending order so i have to arrange this number of citations in descending order so to do that i just select all the data and just right click and sort it by largest to smallest yeah it has sorted similarly i do it for mr b and for mr c also yeah now i can plot it go to insert and x y scatter this plot it. so i have plotted this graph now i have to take another line y equal to mx y equal to x 45 degree angle so i just right click and click on select data i have to put data set i put add yeah x value so this one is the x axis y axis this one is the y axis data then i click okay yeah 
you can see this is the number so this is um, 6 comma 6 point so the H index for Mr. A is 6 so I write here H index I calculated it is coming 6 I save it now I do the same thing for Mr. B go to insert x y scatter yeah same line same thing i have to do once again another line select data add x axis this value y axis so this one yeah so this point is 5,5 so Mr. B H index is say H index Mr. B is 5 or I can write it here H index Mr. A I got 6 Mr. B I got 5 similar thing I will be doing for Mr. C so I just select the data go to insert plot it yeah then again i have to plot 45 degree line select data then y axis data so this column and plot okay yeah so here it is coming 6 here also it is coming 6 I just save it now you can see the Mr. A uh, had maximum number of citation he got 6 H index Mr. B had maximum number of papers but still he is in between A and C C did not get maximum number of papers nor maximum number of citation but still his index is 6 so uh, it is not always the number of papers or number of citation that will determine the grade or H index of the researcher so from this experiment this is clear I think thank you for watching me please subscribe to my channel I will be uploading similar kind of videos